Android devices. Another big story this noon, the scope of the deadly wildfires in Lahaina, California, or Hawaii is coming into focus now. President Biden sending condolences as well as federal and military resources to the Big Island and Maui. NBC's national correspondent Miguel Almaguer is in the historic town of Lahaina, which has been decimated. Amid that sobering and staggering death toll, which now stands at 36, we know upwards of 4,000 people at one point were evacuated from this wildfire. Hundreds of people are at this shelter behind me here in Maui. It's unclear when anyone will be able to return home. Those images of these wildfires, there are now three separate wildfires burning across this area, are just dramatic. It shows how quickly the scope of this fire really exploded. Officials say entire neighborhoods are decimated. Upwards of 300 homes and businesses have been destroyed, and officials say that number will likely climb. Later on today at First Light, officials say they'll also be able to scout the burn zone, hoping to find more of the missing. Of course, they're looking for survivors, but it's quite possible that the death toll, which again stands at 36, could continue to rise. Officials say these wildfires were fanned by incredibly strong winds, upwards of 80 miles per hour. The weather is getting better, but officials say they're going to have a long firefight on their hands in the days ahead. Back to you. Desperate situation there in Hawaii. That was Miguel Almaguer reporting. W. Royal Sholey Jackson continues our coverage live from RDU International Airport. Maui is such a popular tourist destination, and Shelley, those who had plans to vacation in Maui, won't be able to go for some time. That's right, Renee. No one is going to be going for a while because flights to Maui have been canceled. There are thousands of tourists trying to get off the island right now. United and American Airlines say they are sending planes to pick up those folks. Now, as Miguel mentioned, Lahaina has been really decimated. It's a historic whaling town. Uh, so hundreds have been displaced there. A Garner family is there for vacation. Among the thousands of tourists on Maui, they are staying in Waialea. That's kind of on the southern part of the island. They say that they could see the fire burning from their hotel yesterday, and they had planned to visit some of the areas that are now on fire. We came here for uh, really for a 10 year anniversary vacation along with the birthday celebration. And we feel like we just kind of dodged a bullet because we were planning to go to that side of the island today for the second half of our trip. And there was no notification from the hotels. We found out that all the power's down, the phone lines are down. And, um, uh, you know, it was just kind of a scary moment to figure out like, what are we going to do? You know, Lahaina is very popular with tourists, and it has been decimated. Dozens of buildings, historic buildings, 100, 200 years old, have been destroyed. And tourists are scrambling to get off of the island. Some of them are being di uh, directly evacuated to the airport there. And airlines say that they are also going to waive charge fees, change fees, for those folks trying to get back to the mainland. Renee? So the scramble begins, but it's just heartbreaking to see what's happening in Hawaii. Shelly Jackson, live at RDU. And you at noon here in the WRA Live Center, we're getting